This is a new Ford. It's a fair lane. Ford says it's new inside and out. That's not all they say about Fairlane, 65 style. Listen to this. New styling makes the middleweight Fairlane look bigger. Fairlane her with a wider, more substantial look. Looking bigger must be important. So how does your car look? Belvedere, I mean. It's a Plymouth, and it's priced with Fairlane. Fact is, it's over four and one half inches longer than Fairlane, overall. Looks longer, too. Belvedere's wider, too. Almost two inches wider than Fairlane. People like a car that looks wide. What about... Fairlane is completely restyled inside and out in 1965. That's what they say. Let's take a look. Fairlane's interior is new, but the seat fabric has no pleats. Pleats are cooler to sit on, and they reinforce the seat fabric, keep it wrinkle-free like this Belvedere. You know the story. Good looking, too. You can't tell it in this black and white picture, but Fairlane's headlining is not color keyed to interior trim. It's ivory on all models. Belvedere's headliner is color keyed. Looks better. Here's Fairlane's new panel. Bright trim and cluster only. Horizontal gauges harder to read. Red light for alternator. Levers for heater. No light in glove box. Here's Belvedere's instrument panel. Full width, bright trim, large, easy to read gauges. Gauge for alternator. Push button heater controls. Light for glove box. Small points, maybe. But they're things you can point out right on the showroom floor. Here's that Ford man again. Intermediate size cars offer an ideal combination of roominess with a fun to drive size. Let's take roominess. This Belvedere has 2.4 inches more hip room than Fairlane. More room is more ideal. Same goes for headroom. Belvedere has more than Fairlane. Front and more in front and a half inch in the rear. Could be more ideal if you're tall. When I'm in a car, I usually drive got plenty of foot room. Some people ride in the middle, complain about big floor tunnels. Look at the difference. Fairlane's is seven inches wider than Belvedere's. Fairlane's is higher, too. So much for people. How about luggage? Bigger trunks haul more. Belvedere's is bigger. 1.7 cubic feet bigger than Fairlane's. Enough to haul an extra bag or two. Here's something else. Fairlane has a deep down trunk. Takes a 15 and a half inch lift to get something out. Belvedere's trunk sill is over a half foot lower. Takes less strain. I go for that. Here's that Ford man again. New low profile tires, standard on all 1965 Fairlanes, contribute to a smoother, quieter ride, as well as to improved handling. Fact is, both cars have low profile tires but Belvedere's are bigger, 735 compared to Fairlane's smaller 695s. Bigger tires give a smoother ride, better traction too. What about handling? Low profile tires help, but suspension is the big factor. Belvedere's torsion air is rated top and stability. Side wheel tread also increases are a wider footing. Belvedere's tread is two and a half inches wider than Fairlane's. That's quite a bit. Many people like the big car ride of a heavier car. 171 pounds in sixes, Belvedere weighs 258 pounds more. Now hear this. For 1965 is a new 200 cubic inch six horsepower. The new engine has a seven main bearing crankshaft. Consider main bearings. Bearings in Belvedere's six are. Belvedere has only four. They're much bigger than Fairlane's, the numbers game. Fact is, Belvedere's connecting rod bearings are, and both cars have. Another important consideration is the crankshaft. Belvedere's six crankshaft. Iron. Everybody is stronger. With more horsepower than Fairlane. Mobile gas economy runs. Long as Fairlane's six.
V8 engines, you pay your money and take your choice. The most powerful engines, if they really want total performance anymore, but the National Safety Company people, safety means brakes stop. Big brakes stop quicker, cool faster. Belvin point four square inches more bra brakes are 53%. That's an impressive safety factor. The curve in this Belvedere windshield from lifting off the windshield at high driver continues to get a clear view of safety feature that Fairlane. Notice these two wind Fairlane uses the plastic, uses a more durable and easier. But here's more from an alternator replaces the Jenner current generation. Engine is available for the first time with putting the new six. And a three speed torque flight available with all engines. Plymouth has offered them formants and reliability have been proved by millions of miles on the highway. Here's what Ford says about models. Fairlane for 1965 comes in two and four-door sedans, a two-door hardtop, sports coupe, and two station wagons. You can get these models in Belvedere, too. And Belvedere also offers two convertibles and a three-seat station wagon. Three models the Fairlane buyer can't buy. For some reason, Belvedere is priced lower than Fairlane in 10 out of 13 comparable models. The Fairlane salesman. Then there's Belvedere's extra features like the six-way custom position front seat. Dealer can move the seat back, down, or tilt it to give the driver more legroom and headroom and a more comfortable seating position. There's Belvedere's axial flow heater blower for high-speed forced air cooling and heating even when parked and Belvedere's 13-step dip-and-spray anti-rust protection to preserve its steel body longer. Fairlane's body doesn't get dipped. Belvedere's gas tank is bigger. It holds 19 gallons compared to 16 gallons for Fairlane. That could take you about 60 extra miles between gas stops. We could go on and talk about the seams that show on Fairlane's body, front and rear, and how they're filled in and sanded on Belvedere before the car's painted. Or we could bring up Belvedere's longer 550 engine and drivetrain warranty. But I think you get the message. If a prospect wants a bigger car inside and out, a heavier car with bigger tires, a car with a proven six that gives more power and economy, a big car ride with great handling, all for less money, you better sell him a Belvedere. Because fact is, Belvedere for 65 has what he wants. <laughs>